Hello everybody, Dr. Turtle 2 here, and today I'm going to be doing another video, I, uh, tutorial, um, I know I haven't done one in uh, ages, and I'm trying to get back into it, but yeah, I don't know, I've been working for a server pretty hard, right here, lots of, whoops, come on, lagging because I'm recording. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, so lots of kits. So, um, I'm going to uh, do a tutorial on one of the kits um, that I coded for here. We are going to be doing the Nuker kit. Um, basically, what it does is when you drop a TNT, it will, um, oh, will uh, get the entity entity on the ground er, it will detect when you drop the TNT and when you drop the TNT three seconds later it will explode and people will be damaged so yeah let's start off with a class called nuker I'm going to implement implement command executor Implement. Implements. Command execute. And now we need to hook our classes up. And I'm going to copy the boolean as well. Nuker. So, if command label that uh, equals ignore case and nuker oh wait first let's go into our main class and let's create an array list a public array list string nuker equals new array list string and since we're going to be adding a cooldown to this, um, we are going to create another array list for future use called nuked. Alright, so now let's go back to our nuker class. And we'll check if they. What is our array list called? Kit used. If plugin. Dot, well, actually, we don't even. Yeah, actually, we do. Plugin dot nuker nuker dot contains p dot get name. And if plugin dot uh, kit used that contains p dot get name. So basically, um. We're checking if they are not in a, if they're not a nuker and they're not, and they haven't already choose a kit. So if that is true, then we're going to send them a message. Green plus received the nuker kit. And let's clear their inventory. And above it, I'm gonna create. Um, well, the armor for Nuker, it has a uh, blast protection for, so let's do that. Um, item stack uh, N helm equals new item stack material. Uh, uh, no, it was all leather. Leather helmet. Shift O. N helm dot enchantment. Enchantment dot. Um, protection environmental level four I'm just gonna copy all this whoa, 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 whoa. why did that not copy control C control V and chest and pants and and 
boots and the boots are actually iron I'm pretty sure and then we change this to leather leggings Oops. change this to a leather chest plate Oops. all right now we'll p dot get inventory dot add a new item stack material dot iron underscore sword we're gonna skip a line p dot get inventory dot set helmet um and helm oops p dot get inventory dot set chest plate and chest p dot get inventory dot set leggings and pants and finally p dot get inventory dot set boots and boots but first we have to add the tnt so um item stack tnt equals new item stack material dot tnt comma eight because we are going to give them eight tnt and p dot get inventory dot add item tnt it must be dramatic here i'm going to go back into here and shake shim code this is just adding um this is adding uh some mushroom soup and then we'll check some else statements actually we have to add another one here another one there and return false okay so we're going to skip a line because this one is caught with this one or it's nested and this one we're saying um p dot send message chat color dot red plus you have already used a git and oh wait 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 and if all that and then we have to add plugin dot nuker dot add p dot get name and then plugin dot get used dot add p dot get name and we are good here okay now we are going to go back into our events class I think we just use this yep so at event handler public void on um, on nuker player drop item event e player p equals e dot get player and i have to go take a piss i'll be right back okay i actually took a shit okay um if um exclamation point plugin dot or if my bad if plugin dot nuker dot contains Pete dot get name and if exclamation mark plugin dot nuked dot contains p dot get name um then we are going to create um uh item lock equals um um e dot get item drop dot get location item stack item lock you know it's not it yeah, location, location item lock equals e dot 
get drop dot get location. So now we are going to create a. Uh, oh wait. Uh, um. And if um e dot get item drop dot is it get item stack dot get type is equals material dot tnt I think that's what it is there we go so we're checking if they drop tnt if they are not in the nuked if they have not already nuked and if they um are in the nuker list then we are creating or then we're getting the location of the TNT um so we're going to create a new bucket runnable actually I'm just going to go check this it's I'm not too familiar with runnables New bucket runnable public void. Okay, just ref reference that if we need it. Oops, what am I doing up there? Okay, new bucket runnable, porch runnable, public void run. And within here, we are going to um, item lock dot um get world dot create explosion e wait let me check this I think it's dot get yeah okay item lock dot get x comma item lock dot get y comma item lock and this is actually e bucket world create explosion item item lock dot get z comma um i think it's float right yep float h.0 8.0 is the level of our explosion, and then false, comma, false. Yep, comma. Okay. Comma. Up here. Is it? Mm? Yep, 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 yep. I was right the first time. Item lock. Ah. Final. There we go. And then, um. Right here. Uh, then we are going to, um. Add plugin dot nuked dot add p dot get name. And make p final. And um, p dot send message chat color dot red plus die just cause. And down here we're gonna do dot run task later. And, um, yep, okay, plugin, and then, um, so we're just gonna make it explode, uh, three seconds after it is dropped, so that would be 20 times 3L, we get 20 is the number of ticks, and three seconds. So yeah, and then we are. I'm just gonna copy this. 
up here we're going to create a public void nuked final player p this is a method that we're calling or that, that we're making my bad and just copy this because it's a runnable and then we're gonna change this to let's say 55 seconds and then we'll do um, plugin it wait if plugin dot nuked dot contains p dot get name um, plugin dot nuked dot remove p dot get name and p that's whoops p dot send message chat color dot green plus you may now um you may now nuke okay and then we are going to call the method down here saying um uh nuked i think it was nuked p so yeah we are basically done i'm going to add an else statement here saying uh... wait no down one p dot s p dot send message chat color dot green or dot red plus on cooldown alright we'll just go nuker cooldown okay now we're going to um, where did we remove where we rem okay we removed him from up here we'll just if plugin dot nuked dot contains p dot get name plugin dot nuked dot remove p dot get name and we'll copy this and we'll change the d to an r and There we go. So now go to our main class and we are going to get the command. We did a lowercase nuker dot set executor new um, nuker. Whoa. Nuker this. Okay, now I'm going to add it to my plugin.yml. Nuker. We're not going to add it to our um, kit GUI just cause. Okay. Save all. I'm gonna have to restart up my server. So yeah, I may be back. I may not. Okay. Anyways, I'm pretty sure the plugin works. Um, test it if you guys want to. But yeah, Minecraft servers are down. I'll show you. Unless if it magically works this time. Yep, see, okay. Anyways, um, I'm going to be doing a special for uh, 200 subs. So yeah, look forward to that since we're at 198. Um, thank you.